right, guys, here we go. Second race of the night, the next gen series brought to you by 614 Setups. They're here every other Monday night. You see your pole setter out there, the owner and operator for Next Level Racers, Brandon Parks. Two spot going to Craig over there for broken axle capsule with time machine. The three going to Cole Hiron in the choice seat. Four going to the owner and operator of broken axle, Anthony Mandaro. The five going to Jason out of the Mid South Division. The six going to race there. Racing in that broken axle machine. McIntosh, also part of Freedom Motorsports and Broken Axle. Eight of Justin Smolden, Open Wheel Mafia, Choice Inc. Esports Guy. The nine of Michael Cunningham, Broken Axle. Number 10 spot of Andrew out there out of Pennsylvania. That Monster Energy machine. The 11 of Adam Hearn, the Choice Inc. Esports machine. 12 of Joshua out of New England. Good to see him out here racing hard tonight. Jamie Abril back there out of Pennsylvania to 13. Robert Ballard Jr., unknown paints himself in the 14. Man, check him out. He's live on Twitter. Gaming Outlaw Bandit himself. Uh, looks like we got the 15 spot of Michael Boyd out here tonight. Room for Boom on Twitch if you're looking for another guy to watch a point of view race from. Michael Boyd, Room for Boom on Twitch. Going to round out your field here tonight. We're going to take a look at some of the race information here. 78 degrees, 56% rain. Clear skies, two mile hour win. And once again, big shout out to 614 Setups for being the title sponsor. We appreciate you, man. Uh, looking at some of this stuff here, man. We're over a mile and a half here at Chicago Land. We had the truck race just prior to this, and it was a dynamite race. So hopefully the action will look to continue here with the next gens. All right. That is your race breakdown here. We're going to get ready to take a look at some of these drivers getting ready to roll off up here on the grid. Good group of guys out here tonight pulling out here. Guy right here, Brandon Parks, your pole setter in the next level racer machine. There's Craig right there, rocking in that two-spot Anthony Monroe back there in the four. Got the W on the front of that thing there. Bo Howard in that Napa know-it-all. There's Rafe out there for 614. Jason, getting it done. And the, the Money Esports, Dirty Money Esports, I like that. Literally, there's Smolden back here in the GoPro, be a hero. Macintosh looking fantastic. And Hendrix machine, normally he's in a monster machine, but he's in the Hendrix tonight. And there's Macintosh again. Cunningham in that beautiful... Beautiful paint scheme there, man. If you guys are looking for paint scheme, check out Supernova Designs. He does great work. Andrew there once again. Adam Hearn and that Choice Inc. Esports Machine. Jamie April and that beautiful black and green flames. April Creations on that thing. Joshua back here looking fantastic. And room for boom right there. You can find him on Twitch. He does a lot of awesome things. Robert Ballard Jr. Unknown paints and Billy Flannel Co. on the side of that thing. As we're getting ready to go green flag here. Base car is getting ready to go. We've got 35 laps here tonight. The fuel is set and ready to go. One extra set of tires. One fast repair. And I hope we're in for a dandy like we were in those trucks. I really do. We're getting ready to let him loose here at Chicago Land. Looks like Robert's blinking. We'll give him a couple chances to get it cleared up. But if he doesn't get it cleared up, we're going we're gonna to have to get him out of here. So, And it looks like we will. Robert is really bad right now. we got to get him out of here. I do apologize, but... He and not be out there blinking that bad as you see your guys getting ready to go across the start finish line. Brandon Parks taking him across there. Frank there in that two spot. Single file all the way back. Got to have the blinking cleared up. I don't know what you were blinking from, but it was horrendous. Frank there. Cole back here also. Anthony Monroe and Rafe in your top five. Jason back here in that 33 and the 203 of Justin Smolden there right on the back side of him. We got a great battle here up front as you see Cole Howard now almost in the middle of a three-way sandwich here. Anthony Monroe down on the apron, and that's one thing that's unique about this track is these guys live on the edge down there on the apron, but you got to always hope you got a partner up there willing to dance and move up a lane or two once you come flying back up. As you see a great battle up front here with Brandon Parks and Craig. Craig on that high side, Brandon Parks on the bottom. Next level racers, Broken Axle Motorsports. It looks like Broken Axle right now in the 31 going to get a slight edge there. Right back there in the three as the rest of these guys are battling it out through the back of the pack there. Jamie Averill back there with Cunningham. Michael Boyd right now trying to find some speed, but here comes the Hendrix car himself, Andrew. Right behind Cunningham. Cunningham in that beautiful number nine machine. Got it done by Supernova. Signs, and here comes Jamie Averill. Jamie Averill picking up a little bit of speed here also behind the Hendrix machine. The great battle back here in the back between your seven, eight, nine, twelve 12 guys getting it on right here. Battle up front, still looking good here with these guys up front. The 28 and the 31, side by side, and here comes Cole Howard, maybe wanting to make it a three-way. He goes jumping to the bottom of the apron here. 
He's going to stay up there where he wants to be. But, hey, like I said, long race still. Pit strategy, these guys will have to pit under green if we do have to go that far again. Great pass right there. Jamie Averill up on the high side. Is the Hendrick machine going to take the bottom line? You see room for Boom back there. He's trying to get in there and play a little bit here with the number five car and the number 20. Check him out on Twitch. Room for Broom. And as you see the five and the 20 touch right there. And they're able to get it straightened back out. So no harm, no foul there. Let's kind of keep off each other. Long way to go here. You know, when they race side by side like that, it's like I, I would just jump in line, you know, and just maybe find my spot. But too early. Watch the guys in the back here, the five and the 20. Racing good right now, but it's like the battle up front. Still a great one here with the 31 and the 28 side by side here. Brandon Parks sitting there in the bottom side. Craig up there in the two. Monroe back here in the three still. Rafe in the four and Cole Howard. Put a blanket on your top ten. Like Jamie Abel able to get up and get around there by Andrew. So Andrew right now currently sitting in that 12 spot. He's moving up a little bit here, though. And Craig right now, your leader. As you see, Brandon Parks probably trying to save some fuel here. He learned from the truck race. If we go green, you're going to need to stay mean. So right now you see it happening. Brandon Parks in that two spot. Monroe there in the three. And what a move right there from Rafe. Your fifth place driver all over the front nose of the 203. And that's going to get you killed right there. He pulls that move again. I'm sure Smolden... Ain't going to be too happy about it. You saw how aggressive of a block that was from the 614 car. Molden been in the league for a long time. He don't put no seasoning on his steak. So, right now, you see it happening. Rafe working his way on the bottom side here underneath Cole Howard, the teammate of the Choice Inc. Esports guy. Dream mic'd him up and said, hey, man, be careful. Watch out for that 81 car. He's a freaking crazy man out here. But great battle here up front. Eight of the 35 in the books. Brandon Parks and Craig still side-by-side. Side. Anthony Monroe, like I said, sitting there in the P3 spot here tonight for the Capsule of Time LLC.com W machine. And a good battle right there behind him. Cole Howard in the 614. Going at it, duking it out. He's got his teammate right behind him, Smolden there in the 203. Good side-by-side side battle right there. Teammates there again, Smolden and uh, Adam Hearn going door-to-door -door there for a hot second. And you see Anthony Monroe trying to work that bottom end down there and as long as he can get it to stick, it might work, but not enough down there that time as Brandon Park's still your leader. But a great-looking battle right here between Craig and Rafe and Anthony Monroe. Piling them in right now. Put a blanket on your top seven. These boys are on another level. Great racing so far up front as we are 10 of the 35 in the books. And, yes, pit stops will matter. They got one extra set of tires. So that's going to come in and play. And... Yeah, hopefully it stays clean, and that's what we look for here, man. We want guys that want to race clean and respect each other. That's all I ask for. And tonight we got it in bunches with the truck race, and currently right now with this machine race here, these guys are getting it in. As you see the 84 all over the side there, trying to get a good run here on the 84 on the 82, blocking hard. Put a heavy block there on the 84, and the 84 going to yield back a little bit as he tries to get his teammates up here with him. And Rafe into the wall, going to check up hard there. Monroe, his teammate, able to not run into him, able to get down there and pump the brakes a little bit there as we watch the battle still up front. Brandon Parks, your leader. Bragging that two spot, as you see the W machine, that capsule of time in the three spot. And Rafe back there in the five now, as you see Adam Herr making the pass on the inside with 24 laps left to go here tonight. Adam Herr. Sitting comfortably in the four spot. Rafe back to the five. Smolden in the six. McIntosh back out here tonight in the seven spot. Cole Howard in the eight right now. And Jason in the nine. Jamie Averill moving up to the 10 spot. Jamie Averill up three spots where he qualified. He's got that 20 machine rolling here tonight as he's got Andrew right behind him. And tires, fuel, all that shit matters here tonight, man. And Andrew doing a great job here tonight also. Did well in the trucks and looks to try to keep himself maintaining a top 10 finish here. And the cars as he's right behind Jamie Abel. Jamie Abel right in front of him. And Andrew right there. Cunningham also in the 12. Joshua back here in the 13. Boyd in the 14. Robert Ballard Jr. out of this one early with blinking connection issues early in this one. He was gone. He would stay. He's gone. He would stay. So he had to bail out early in this one. Here's Craig still your leader. Brandon Parks in the two spot. Monroe battling hard in the three. And let's take a second here and jump in that capsule of time. LLC.com gearbox cam 
right along with your leader, Craig. Great looking line he's running here with 22 laps to go next time by. You see the W machine trying to get up and underneath Brandon Parks and they will make the pass here. It looks good. Pass is going to be made here. Coming right at you folks. Anthony Monroe tried to make the pass on Brandon Parks. Settle for better. Going back to the P3 spot. Anthony you know, we got that 82 machine rolling here. Adam Herr back here in the four. Smolden in the five. Rafe in the six. McIntosh in the seven. Eight of Jason. The nine of April. Andrew back there in the 10. The 11 of Cunningham. Michael Boyd in the 12. Joshua in the 13. You got a heavy blinker here. Who's that blinker? Got to check these guys out, man. They're blinking a couple more times. I got to get them out of here. But great battle right now. Craig out to a huge lead. Brandon Parks there in that two spot. Going to give it up, it looks like, here to Anthony Monroe with 20 laps to go next time by. Anthony Monroe still hanging in that two and three spot. Way down on the apron there. Damn near in the grass, Anthony Monroe. Adam Hur right there behind him and Smolden back there in the five spot. Ray cruising in the six spot. He got burned last race in the truck series. You watch that. If you watch the video prior to this on YouTube, you'll see. Rafe had a huge lead there, and it closed quickly as Brandon Parks got them fresh tires and chased them down for the race win in that truck series just a minute ago. But Craig right now out to a great start here early in this one. Brandon Parks back there in that two spot. Monroe in the three. Adam Herr back here in the four. And Holden still rounded out your top five as we look at some of the other drivers throughout the pack here. And he else kind of singled themselves out right now, just kind of filling it out. Michael Boyd back here in the room for boom machine got... Joshua right behind him. So with 18 laps to go next time by for your leader, Craig, in that 31 Sony, Arizona. Capsule of time, broken axle machine. These guys are looking good here tonight. Get the battle back here side by side. Anthony Monroe and Brandon Parks. They've been going at it all night long. The Adam Hurry is being patient right now, and that's what you want to see with Adam. You want to see him be patient. He may be trying to get up there and work with his teammate, you know, former teammate, I may add to that, as Brandon Park still rolls that high line in, and Adam Hur rolling the bottom in, and Monroe kind of hanging out in the middle right now. So we're going to find out what's going to happen here. His teammates are going to really try to work together here. But pit strategy, folks. So we got one extra set of tires, and oh, Monroe goes high and follows follows Brandon. Going to split the middle here. They're able to make it work right now. Anthony Monroe's great battle between second and third. See the guy bobbing and weaving back there. That's the Choice Inc. esports guy of Adam Herb right there, man. Check out Choice Inc. You need hats, embroidery, anything, banners. Check out J-Bones, man. He'll hook you up. But right now, that Choice Inc. esports machine trying to get all over the backside of the next level racer, and he's got broken axle right in front of him. So see if he's going to be able to make a move here. And, you know, the thing about it, Adam Herb's got a teammate there in the 203 right behind him. See if him and Smolden either link up here or something. Maybe him, Smolden, and uh, and Brandon Parks. They were all former teammates, and you know, so maybe something will get connected here. But I don't know what's going to happen. But Monroe, he's kind of sitting duck right now if these boys team up. As you see, a big block coming up right there, and that'll get you killed every day of the week here, folks. Is what a block right there, and Anthony he gets one right there as I expected to see that. He threw that block up there in front of him, and. You know, that could have been a lot worse. You know, we watched it happen right here live. You saw it. As you see Rafe now into the pits also. Rafe into the pits. Monroe still in the three spot. And Adam Hurd get up there and give him that little bit of a bumper. Justin Smolden back there still rocking out in that number five spot. One of your big movers of the race definitely is Adam Hurd. He's up seven spots. Him and Michael Boyd. Boyd, Boyd back here in the room for boom machine. Getting themselves going with 15 laps left to go here. Rafe coming in the pits, and here comes Andrew. Your leaders are starting to funnel their way in. Brandon Parks coming into the pits right now. Oh, he had to slam him on. Adam Hur coming in there with him also. And your leader, Bragg in that 31. Anthony Monroe in that two spot. Justin Smolden in the three. Jamie Abril up to the four spot in that black and green number 20 machine. Jamie Abril. Getting the call out right now. The 82 coming in the pit here also right now, sir. 
Boo 3 coming in pit, and these guys are calling them out as they roll them into pit road here. And it's dangerous here. It's a quick stop. But as long as you're in the bottom lane, you should be safe as we ride along with Anthony Monroe. Slings it in there. Woo! Boy, I tell you, that boy crazy when he comes into the pits, Anthony Monroe. McIntosh, your new leader. There he is out there in the 909. Mr. McIntosh leading the lap here tonight in the Nighthawk Motorsports Weekly Racing Series. The next gen 614 setups. We appreciate you. Look at McIntosh right now. Taking these boys on a parade lap. Cunningham back there in that two spot. As they get to pit, but that's all right. That's all right. You got to be able to get in there and get it one every once in a while, right? Here comes the 81 down low. There's the 84 there side by side. And I tell you what, it's getting juicy out here, folks. As McIntosh still leads that lap. Cunningham in the two spot here and fresh tires for Cole Howard. Craig back here in the four spot as he's coming out of the pit. Smolden there coming out, racing hard there. Look at that good battle off the pit road. The 20 and the 203 battling hard off of pit road. That blend line. They come into play here for these drivers. they got to be real easy working it around that bottom apron. It can get slick. Here comes the 203 and Jamie Averill as McIntosh may be coming into pit here real soon. He's got Craig on the bottom side. Hopefully he sees him there with 12 laps left to go. Justin Smolden right now trying to get some speed rolling. Jamie Averill right behind him. Andrew coming back down the pits is Craig. Cunningham in the pits and so is McIntosh. Next time by, I'm sure he's going to be running out of fuel any moment now. I would imagine. Salter also working his way up there. There's Joshua, Michael Boyd, Anthony Monroe coming off the pits there. And I think he got caught for speeding. He's been in the pits for a hot minute. So Anthony Monroe had a, such a great race going. He came in hot. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm wrong. But right now, there comes McIntosh in the pits. As Cole Howard is going to come in and be the sole leader here with 10 to go next time by. Craig back here in the three spot. Brandon Parks in the four right now. Rafe in the five. Adam Hur in the six. Smolden in the seven. Jamie back there in the eighth spot. And here comes Cunningham out of the pits here. And he's going to go down and get on that blend line. McIntosh missing it. Pull in there a little bit more, buddy. There you go. Cole Howard going to make that pass on McIntosh. Cole Howard, your new leader out here tonight in that 52 machine. Racing for Choice Inc. Esports there. Craig in that two spot right now. Brandon Parks in the three. Rafe in the four, Adam Hur in the five, Justin Smolden in the six, Jamie Abril back here in the seven, McIntosh rolling off in the eight spot right now, Andrew in the nine, subject to change here, I think Andrew's going to pop up to that number eight spot here, it's the slow roller on the bottom. Oh, Howard, nine laps left to go this time by, the man has been on another planet here tonight, Craig in that two spot, Brandon Parks in the three. Rafe in the four right now as he's getting chased down by Adam Hur. Adam Hur once again, fresh tires. Not sure exactly what happened with Rafe, but we'll see if these fresh tires for Adam Hur are going to get him up here in slingshot. Just got to be patient with these guys. You know what I mean? Like, you know, they're going to see you coming and you got the much faster car. So hopefully it won't be too much of an issue here as Rafe down there. And that choice sink number 84 machine goes low and Rafe throws a little mini block there and choice sink goes high and got to pull some crazy maneuvers here like he's racing Top Gun. To get around them, but hey, what do you expect with eight laps left to go? You want to make it a little tough, I guess, for the guy with fresh tires. You've got a great battle right here, side by side, the 81 to 84. That's Rafe up on the high side out of Montana. The 84 of Adam Hur out of Michigan. Good looking machines right there. Able to get a good side draft there, as you see Adam still working that bottom side. Not missing anything up front right now, folks. Cole Howard, still your leader. He's got Craig digging on him, though. Craig there trying to make it three wide here for a second. He does make it three wide. Lap car on the bottom, no problem. He stays down there. Gosh it out on the speedway, and we're going to bring it out here for you, folks, as we got our first one of the night here. And just not clear. All right, boom. All right. <laughs> All right, let's take a look here. I just assumed that wasn't clear. Let's, uh, let's go to the top here and take a look exactly what we got going on here so goes up goes up and let's take a look let's bring it up let's bring it up the blimp cam here folks yep rafe is coming down the track here rafe's coming down that was going to be on rafe he wasn't clear there he was not clear he was not clear first one of the night 
All right, moving to the end of the line. Yeah, he's not clear here as we see the 81 come down. Right on the nose there. Boom. Hmm. That sucks. That's a tough break for him. First caution of the night here. I will take it, I guess. But that was a, uh, a one of those things where he just wasn't clear. I mean, it wasn't a very smart move to come down. But it's strategy now. Guys coming in the pits. If they're coming in, they're coming in now. Look at some of these drivers work their way around. Team in row. Michael Boyd. I tell you what, what a race we've had. Yeah, yeah, right, right? I mean, it was one of them tough calls right there. You hate to see it. He's coming down, and boom, just wasn't clear. Just had to wait a few more milliseconds. He would have been fine. So as you see your running order over here, five laps left to go here. Room for Broom going to get that wave around. He'll be making his way around the track right now. Cole in that two spot. Brandon Parks there. Adam Hearn, a four and a five of Smolden. Uh, these guys are getting racy out here tonight. So uh, first caution of the night, then we'll take it, man. These guys have put in the work here so far. So love to see it. Just wish they were a little bit patient here on that. But like I said, hey, I could deal with one caution in a whole night of racing. That's pretty awesome. But Craig, your leader there in that Stony Arizona capsule with time, LLC.com machine. Go hired back there in the Choice Inc. 52. Brandon Parks in the Next Level Racers. Adam Hur in the Choice Inc. Justin Smolden in the Choice Inc. So you got three Choice Inc.s in the top five right now. Pretty good odds there. And don't want to forget about Jamie Abril there. He's up seven spots also. So Jamie Abril been running pretty smooth here tonight. So it's awesome to see these guys running really good here tonight. As it looks like everybody has got their lap back. We'll go P1 to green here and get these boys fired up this time by. All right, boys, we're going back to green this time. Bye. Let this caution not breed more cautions. You guys have done great. That was just a minor slip up there, you know, not really being super clear. So let's keep the good vibes going. You guys have done great. Let's roll. All right. I've said everything that I can say to these guys. Pace car is going to be coming in. We're going to let them loose here one more time. Four laps left to go here tonight. You know, I really, I really hope these guys get it figured out. And like I said, they've done a great job compared to last week where it was pretty crazy. But I'm very proud of these guys tonight, man. And uh, this is what I want to see in this league, man, is, is some good, clean, respectful racing. And uh, we've gotten it tonight with the trucks and the next gen. So we'll see how these guys end it strong here. I mean, like I said, racing is racing. I get it. But very proud of all these guys tonight, man. Big turnaround from just a week ago. So. And sometimes that break is all you need. You just need a few days to cool off and back at it, and it really does make a huge difference. So the pace car's in. Let's see these kind of restarts. Craig's notorious for spinning them on them uh, restarts. We'll see if he does it. Good start there on the high side for the 50, uh, 52 and the 84. Great start there. Everybody else running really good also. In the back here, as you see your leaders, one, two, three, four. Put a blanket on the top four. Three laps left to go here. Oh, what a move right there. Oh, Adam got too aggressive with it. Oh, my Lord. Oh, man. They got some torn up race cars out here. Oh, boy. That right there. We did not need to see that. So, uh, let's bring it up here. Take a look. What happened? Adam just not clear and Boom. That was on Adam Hurd. Just not clear there of Cole Howard. We're going to go into our first green-white checkered attempt. Not a very good move there. Veteran driver. You do better than that. Come on, boys. All right. Let's uh, move him to the end of the line here. And uh, whew, that was a tough one. Let's bring it back here for you guys. And then you guys want to check it out at home here. So if we pull it up right here and gets up here and... Gets swirly with it, runs into the 52, loses it, and then the rest is history here. Look at this. So some of these drivers in the back here probably didn't have a chance. Let's jump inside the cockpit with Rafe here and see what he sees. Oh, oh, he almost made it. Oh, and he's got another one right there. Oh, 
Oh, what a move. What a save right there from Rafe. Good stuff, buddy. That was a way to bounce out the throttle and the brakes there. So here we go again. Cautious, pre cautious. First green wide checkered attempt here tonight. That should have gotten a couple guys back on the lead lap, but Monroe was involved in the wreck. So they will not be issuing a lucky dog to him. So uh, not, it sucks, but that's kind of the way it is. Adam Hur into the pits here. It looks like he had to tow and, Oh boy, that machine is definitely toasted as he got hella loose in front of them and uh, the rest is history. So, Craig out front, Brandon Parks in the two, Smolden in the three, Cole Howard in the four, and Jamie Averill rounds out your top five. We get ready to go green flag next time by. Man, oh man, that was a big mess right there. You just don't expect that from your veteran drivers, you know, but it's going to happen. You know, things, things will... Things do occur in a race. So Cole Howard there in that number four spot. Jamie Averill moving up to the top five, man. Like I said, I can't say enough great things about the guy tonight. He's really he's really got his head on straight. He's being able to miss some of these wrecks out here. Because let's be honest, like a lot of these incidents that happen in these races aren't the guy that causes the incidents. It's getting collected in the incidents, you know, which sucks. Like, you know, the bad move right there, getting jiggly with it and getting in the coal, it ruined three or four guys' races. Yeah, yeah, it definitely sucks. Uh, you got to contact iRacing. All right. <laughs> All right, we're going back to green here this time by. All right, let's get them rolling off here. Yeah, I hate the rule, too. I really do. The rule, the rule definitely sucks, but, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, I, I haven't went back and looked at it. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. All right. One of two green-white checkers. Ready to go. Let's get it rolling. Craig there, Brandon Parks, Cole Howard, Smolden, and Jamie Averill. Ready to put on a show here for the rest of you guys out here tonight. We appreciate you. Make sure you like, subscribe to Video Man. It really does help us out, man. Once again, big shout-out to everybody. It makes this possible. 614 Setups, thank you for your support. All right. Brandon Parks, Cole Howard, Justice Smolden, Jamie Abel ready to let him loose. Pace car is going off this time. Bye. Green flag, green flag. Green flag back out. We're slow rolling in the back right now as we're three wide already. Did not take long. Guys are ready to get these laps under and done with. Second caution of the night and we're rolling here. Oh, they tag him up. Oh, boy, hang on to five underneath the 82. Craig, your leader right now. Anthony Monroe on the outside. You got to make sure each other's clear. If you're not clear, you're not clear. 31 and the 28 right now going at it side by side. The 9 and the 52 battling hard back here for ninth place. The white flag is out in the air here. We're ready to go one more time around Chicagoland, the next-gen series. Oh, Cunningham. Almost got down in front of him there. You hate to see that. But what a battle up front right now. Craig, your leader. Smolden there in the two spot. Brandon Parks in the three. Jamie Averill battling in the four. White flag out. What kind of moves are we going to see here? Right now, Craig still your leader. Brandon Parks digging. And it won't be enough. It's going to be Craig that wins it. Brandon Parks in the two. And Dustin Smolden edges out in the top three. Unofficial results to the left of the screen.